Welcome everyone to today's Technical Tuesday. So I'm gonna look at a few markets. The first one is gonna be Bitcoin, then I'm gonna move into NASDAQ and DXY and overall my thoughts about the current week or the next week. So let's get straight into it. So I've been very vocal about this being the local bottom. Yes, many people were talking about this being the local bottom, but did you actually long it? So for me, I longed the 60K swept and it was a very, very obvious kind of thing, right? So if you look at Binance, let's look at the first law that was created. I've been speaking many times about this and people overcomplicate the subject. So you can see first law is $60,000 unswept. So exactly at that level. And you, you know, you have like tons of stops at that level. Yeah. So usually when you have like a rounded number, uh, there's lots of stops, 60,059 and especially the tens thousand so 60 70 80 etc now i'm not gonna go in depth about it because this is not the topic of today's subject but let me just explain something very quickly so overall first things first if we zoom out let's look at a 12 hour time frame so yes we're still in that parallel channel okay overall yes we did reject that ot uh so very technical rejection as well also the first high let me just show you quickly 63970 front run of 64,000. Yeah, and let me just show you quickly on the TPO chart how does that these highs over here look like? Super easy trade. You, you can clearly see poor high front run the poor high, sweep the poor high, come back in. Now, what is the next pit stop? Saturday's poor low, obvious as a day, and you have like a TPO point of control, so time point of control, and Trust me, lots of people are going to get bearish over here, but you're just going to be sweeping liquidity from the weekend, right? It's simple, clean as a day. Look at the volume profile. You have a point of control there as well. Come on, you're going to load today or something. Yeah, so you can clearly see the volume uh, point of control, 61.4. Now, uh, let me just show you something else as well. Look at the period periodic volume profile. So you clearly open up outside of previous week value area. You get accepted back in. You back test the value area high, and you're trying to rotate down to, to the point of control, right? So yes, at the moment, the low for the fourth quarter of this year is 59.828 for now. Um, what I mean by this, and why I'm being so vocal about it, why I'm speaking so much about this Q4 low. So October, naturally a very bullish month overall. Uh, if we take a look at the weekly, clearly you're coming into the previous week, uh, week. So if we measure this, let's measure the week. Look at the week. Da, 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 da. So the 0 0.5 is coming at 61.4. So pretty much 50% of the week is coming into the volume profile uh, point of control below the Saturday lows. So it makes sense for price to rotate down to that. <clears throat> Currently, price is forming a bit of a slow grind, so it's pretty much, in my opinion, is gonna impulse down uh, to take out this Saturday loss. However, the risk reward at the moment is not the best. Now, coming into my main chart, there's pretty much a few areas which I'm uh, interested about. So the first one, if we actually lose these lows, I'm, I'm monitoring the monthly naked point control at 58. 150 why am i monitoring it so if we take a look at the monthly volume profile this is not only a monthly but this is also the third quarter of the year po point of control so the moment you can clearly see you struggling with that high volume node and pretty much in between this and this there's not much uh besides this being the local bottom for now is this gonna hold or not i don't know however um i'm being a bit more bullish than bearish and i'm still leaning towards this going up higher However, even if price does something like this and starts chopping around a bit, and if we form higher lows, I think it's gonna prepare for an impulse up higher. That's what I believe. Um, right now we have the World Series of Trading competition on Bybit. Usually this leads to massive chop. So it does make sense for price to chop pretty much until the elections. So we can clearly <laughs> see price doing something like this. Um, why not? At, you know, for for an extended period of time, and just preparing to impulse higher. The most important thing, if this is going to happen, you need to form higher lows, and you need to see absorption at these lows. Uh, how you can spot the absorption? Just look at the delta. Do you have lots of uh, negative delta at the lows? Because if you have negative delta, 
and price is not following, simply you have limit buys. Who is playing with limit buys? Usually market makers or entities with a huge amount of quantities. Now, <coughs> another thing which I want to look at, if we take a look at the key levels. So pretty much um, you have the previous month equilibrium. So, you know, even if price does come down here and you reclaim that $60,000 mark, it's still not that ugly, you know. Um, overall on the heights and time frames, this is what I use for the heights and time frames. I'm looking at the total. So pretty much, yes, at the moment you're still into that view up area, which in my opinion is going to create that impulse up high. You just need to form the area maybe once more and uh, start creating a slow grind towards this area. Once that is created, you can clearly look to the upside. Yes, on the heights and time frames, I'm much bullish than bearish. Uh, you have all these, uh, you know, negative news. Um, however, lots of people speak about this, but they never take the setups. They never show the PNS. I'm not gonna go in depth about this. There's too much to, to exist in that space anyway. Uh, something I like to look at is the CME chart as well. Yeah, so <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna delete this for a second. I'm not gonna speak about this today. Uh, the ta -ta -ta -ta, this is the impulse from the last quarter. So, in my personal opinion, if we just observe this chart and we don't look at anything else, if we just look at this and if we take information just from this chart if you lose this low you can be looking towards this level yeah however uh if we take a look on the monthly time frame i don't think the monthly is gonna be looking much bullish if you come down here now <clears throat> in my personal opinion once this monthly is breaking out of this consolidation i like this type of consolidation why because it's offering buyers to come into at lower prices and seller to sell at lower prices now this is a perfect condition for short squeeze and for buyers to chase price once it breaks to the upside now <coughs> once the monthly time frame kicks in to the upside i don't see anything stopping us of reaching 90 or 95 that's not much uh above that you know lots of people they're gonna be talking about oh we're gonna just take out this high no 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 no, no. this is not the way it's gonna work in my opinion um <coughs> few more days of consolidation make the world series of trading goes away and pretty much we're ready to go on another rally to the upside in terms of levels to the upside i have a very very clear levels uh pretty much in my opinion once you come into sixty-seven thousand dollars, you are 100 percent confirmed that bullish bias just chop around it and just go up higher there's nothing that can stop price above 68 in my opinion absolutely nothing stops 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 you have tons of stops so price is just gonna continue going up higher now speaking about nasdaq the next thing which i want to look at pretty much the reason you fell down yesterday weekly profile where did we come down to <laughs> clean as a day previous week point of control um simple as that you have equal highs here you have a poor high over here nasdaq insanely bullish going to the fourth quarter of the year we will be very very lucky if price comes down into this level over here right now you have absolutely zero reason for price to do that and price in my opinion is going to continue going up higher whipping out higher prices uh now something which i want to speak about is dxy because this is going to put a bit of a pressure on the markets coming into the elections the DXY, in my opinion, is going to remain strong. So it, this is going to put a bit of a pressure, but nothing to be worried about. So you, you clearly have like a clean range. Um, I've been speaking about the DXY and me being bullish in that area. Um, I did not expect this to break down as long as we were holding this area. Now, <coughs> something to be aware of in terms of levels. You, you clearly see I have overlap levels over here. If we move into the monthly time frame, you clearly close below this monthly because this yearly was a monthly as well but you did close below it now you reclaimed it on the weekly time frame very nice bullish engulfing candle probably just price gonna come into the imbalance and move up high towards this weekly in terms of a daily uh clean as a day change of structure break of structure come in ta -ta -ta. not gonna speak much about this come into the futures market so <coughs> come into the futures market Clearly, you can see the view ups on that impulse being back tested again. However, this is just range, and something to be looking at is gonna be the Euro USD. So the Euro USD, it's in a clear range, mean reverted. Uh, in terms of a height and time frame, look at the view up. 
we clearly rejected that block over here uh yeah euro it's in a range if we look at how the usd it's in a range as well um back below the yearly open back below that weekly from over here it's looking to go down much lower gbp usd uh not much info about this one usd cat uh come on usd cat i do have a chat on that one yeah there we go so sweep of that low coming up higher i uh, believe yeah we're back above the range point of control and you can clearly see the top of the vowel so yeah uh, there's a few um, nice trades on the fx however uh, if we look at a few charts yes continues to be bullish dax continues to be bullish so something i want to share with y'all there's a lot of mentions about ethereum and what's happening with ethereum uh, right now ethereum is gonna start running after bitcoin so you need to see first bitcoin running to the upside and then you're gonna see ethereum now <clears throat> something to be aware of the structure clearly clearly remains bearish as hell we do have a weekly which right now we're back testing we have to see how the weekly closes we do have another weekly which just formed up here daily clearly bearish so at the moment it makes much more sense to be longing bitcoin than ethereum even if you're looking for long swing setup where ethereum is gonna go in my opinion down to this area we just need to see acceptance into the value area high and it's gonna rotate down to here this is gonna be the most key level for ethereum so yeah guys that's the technical tuesday we show nice trading enjoy all the best bye bye